Have you been looking for a way to boost your students' entrepreneurial creativity and ambition? If so, then this is your day to be inspired. Over the next few minutes, we're going to walk through Inspire, Lesson 2, Josie Notori, Heritage and Ambition. Through this lesson, your students will identify the role of ambition and available assets in the success of a business, Examine some underlying reasons why businesses exist and apply creativity to the development of a new product or service idea. I'm James Wilcox and this is Inspire, an entrepreneurship education series powered by Economics Arkansas. Josie Natori discovered success early in her career as an investment banker on Wall Street. At heart, however, she was an artist, and she was bored. Remembering her grandmother's advice to always be independent, she chose to leave a promising career and create a lifestyle fashion company inspired by the artistic heritage of her native Philippines. Using Josie's story as a backdrop, this lesson focuses on a few key concepts, namely ambition, assets, and creativity. Every Inspire lesson offers a modular approach to the content, allowing you to scaffold and take a deeper dive into the key concepts as time and interest allow. For lesson two, the time required ranges from 10 minutes for the bell ringer to 35 minutes for the full lesson and extension activity. All necessary materials are provided, including visuals, activities, student handouts, and a detailed list of teacher instructions. Before class begins, print individual copies of Handout 1, Video Questions, and Handout 4, Why. Print team copies of Handout 2 and Handout 3. Per every eight teams, print and cut out one set of picture cards from Activity 1A and the word strips from Activity 1B. To set the stage for this lesson, show the short four-minute video Josie Notori heritage and ambition found at thisiscapitalism.com. Once the video ends, ask or assign students to work together in teams of three or four. Distribute a copy of handout one video questions to each student and allow them five minutes to complete the questions individually. The goal of this assignment is to identify the concepts of ambition and assets demonstrated throughout Josie's story. The last question provides a great opportunity to debrief your students. How was Josie able to use her unique blend of ambition and assets to make the Notori Company such a success? Answers will vary, but students may identify a number of specific ambitions, like to have a good education, to have her own career, to not rely on anybody else for her personal success, to not be bored, to do something artistic, or to create opportunities for other women. Some of the assets that Josie herself identifies within her story is that she's a woman, that she's Asian American. Her finance education and experience, her artistic heritage, or her connections back in the Philippines and here in the United States. If you're just doing the bell ringer, you're done. But let's see how the mini lesson and the extension activity continue to add value through a deeper dive. Using Visual One definitions, review each definition. Explain that teams will be given a couple random assets and will use creativity to combine them into new business ideas, either products or services. With students still in teams of three or four, randomly distribute one picture card from Activity 1A and one word strip from Activity 1B to each team. Distribute a copy of Handout 2, Creative Combos, to each team. And display Visual 2, Creative Combos, during this activity so teams can name their ideas. Josie Notori used common, everyday objects like tablecloths to inspire new fashion products. She saw beauty and potential in ordinary things, and she pursued the opportunity to bring the artistic heritage of her native Philippines to the world of American fashion. She calls it a modern harmony of East and West. 
Creativity can be described as the ability to produce new ideas or things using skill and imagination. This activity is designed to stretch your creativity by helping your brain make new connections, new mental associations. So your team is going to receive two items, a picture card and a single word written on a strip of paper. Your challenge is to combine your two assigned words or things to create a new business idea. It could be a product or a service that you think has value. Don't worry about whether or not your idea is realistic, but be ready to report back your results to the class. Next, distribute a copy of handout three, yeah and maybe, to each team. Allow a few teams to present their new business ideas to the class. And during the presentations, have other teams complete handout three together. Allow one minute between presentations for teams to discuss and collect their thoughts. Allow a few teams to share the results that they had from handout three, yeah and maybe. Emphasize that the goal of this activity was to mix a variety of ideas that might not naturally mix and to ultimately stretch their creativity. This is meant to get students thinking outside of the box, focusing more on abstract possibilities than concrete recommendations. Finally, lesson two concludes with an optional extension activity on handout four, why? This can be completed in class or as a homework assignment. Your study of Josie Notori has shown you that an entrepreneur's ambition and assets can be a great source of opportunity. For every entrepreneur, however, there is a reason why they chose to start their business. Maybe it is the freedom to be creative. Maybe it is the ability to use their skills to make a difference in the world. Josie's efforts resulted in a quality product as well as employment opportunities for women in the Philippines. Every business should be able to answer the fundamental question, why do I exist? When you know and truly believe in the why, your customers and employees will believe it too. Most often, we find the answer to this question in the form of a company's mission statement. Visit the websites of three of your favorite companies or brands. Search for their mission statements. Do they clearly describe why the company exists? Go ahead and fill in the blanks with what you find. This activity focuses on identifying businesses that, like Notori, exist for a reason. For example, Tesla's mission statement is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. So sure, Tesla happens to make electrical cars, but this is just an extension of their mission. Please let us know how this lesson has helped your students identify practical ways to exercise their creativity and to apply it to their entrepreneurial goals. Thank you so much for watching Inspire, powered by Economics Arkansas. And thank you to Stevens Inc. for the generous support that allowed us to make this resource possible. For more Inspire lessons and for more professional development opportunities and lesson plan ideas, visit economicsarkansas.org.